Welcome to Stock Talk. This is your host Scott. Hope you've enjoyed your day. It's been a little boring around here with the market closed, uh, but uh, anytime the market's closed, it gets you gives you an opportunity to prepare for the next day. And so that's what we're kind of doing today is we're just going to prepare for what's going to happen tomorrow morning. Kind of get in our mind, uh, taking a look at our portfolio, just kind of get in our mind where we want to enter some of these trades or where we might want to exit some trades. Uh, so that's something we like to do when we've got a little downtime. So let's go ahead and jump into it and look at our portfolio. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to there now. You can see here we got a portfolio up that we set up. Uh, we've got these stocks here. Uh, X, Pelotron, Novavax, MPC, EXAS, Cliff, and ACB. So those are, those are the ones we have on our list, our watch list, I like to call it. Um, Pelotron is really the only one that we're holding in this portfolio. Uh, I do have some X that I have in a cash account in, one, in my own IRA. Uh, Novavax I'm holding in my IRAs. Uh, but that's it. That's the only ones that we're really holding. The only, only one in this that we've really done here is uh, Pelotron. So kind of holding on to that one for a little bit. We'll talk about that in just a second. Let's start out with X. Uh, X is uh, uh, something I will probably be cost averaging uh, because I've got some in these other accounts. I'll be cost averaging that. Probably next time my cost average will be, um, it'll be around eight dollars. So um, the, the the stuff we bought in the cash account the other day, I think it's uh, I think it's down maybe three percent, three point seven two percent, something like that. So um, we're we're not going to cost average the cash account right now, uh, but if it hits eight, we'll probably we'll probably do that. Okay, uh, Pelotron, that's the one we are holding in this account. Uh, Pelotron is uh, um, sitting at 27. I think we're in at 29, 12, somewhere around there. We're down about uh, five percent on that one. This is not one that I will cost average. I'm uh, just not one I'm trusting enough to do that with yet. It's fairly new. Uh, IPO'd I think last year, so uh, not something that we want to throw a whole lot of money at right now. Uh, but we sure would like to get out of it with a profit. So that's that's the one we're holding. It's down 5%. Now it moved 4% on a down day. It can move 5% on a good day. So we, we could be even pretty quick. So not really worried about it. Um, we'll just sit there and watch. It looks like there's some support around 27 for that one. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't go below that support level of 27. Um, but we're going we're gonna to just uh, hang on to that one for now. Novavax. Novavax is one that I... That I have in, in the IRAs and everything, um, uh, but we we did sell out what we did have in this account uh, recently. Uh, now we would like to get back into this one, and I was looking at the charts earlier. Uh, it looks like to me get get back in probably around that 750 level, 740. I think we sold at 750 last time, so we may get back in at that level uh, because it did run a little bit from there. Uh, after we sold, so that may be a support level now. So if it is, we may jump on it at 750. And we might buy a little bit at 750, but it could go. It looks like to me either 750, 740 level may be the next level of support. So we'll watch that one. Uh, maybe we'll get some more of that into this account next week um, or tomorrow. Uh, MPC, MPC. We're not holding any of that right now. That's that's a good stock. Uh, one of my favorites um, that I that I trade and I've held uh, I held it uh, recently this past year for over a year or close to a year I think it was and I think I sold right at around 68 uh, but it's fallen a good bit since then um, but that's a good stop uh, I'm looking for a level of about 55 57 somewhere like that um, 55 preferably. I mean, I think it would go if it goes to 57. It's probably gonna go to 55. So we'll we'll keep an eye on that one. It's a little ways off yet. Uh, that ex dividend date. I think uh, when was that? That's coming up on the 18th. So uh, that would be Monday. So uh, let's watch this thing close Monday because that is the ex dividend date. That's the last day. If you want to get the dividend, you got to hold it to that day or past that day. So. Um, there, there'll be some people probably uh, selling out tomorrow uh, 
since they had it that day. They're the owner of that day. So and for sure the next day. So we're going to, we'll keep an eye on that. Okay. Uh, EXAS. Let's go ahead and go back to that one. EXAS kind of out of my price range right now. Uh, it's, it's, it's had a pretty good run here lately. It's getting close to that $100 mark. Uh, I like it around 89, 90 level. Uh, but this one's getting, just getting a little too high for me right now. So don't it have to have a bad day for it to, uh, to uh, get in back in my price range. So, but if it does, that's when we go. I mean, it's uh, 89, 80, 90 level. CLF. CLF. Let's see what it's doing here. <coughs> CLF is uh, getting close. Getting close. I like it. I like that one around $7.10, $7 range. So we're getting close another day like it had the other day. And we may uh, may have something we can buy there. So uh, keep a close eye on that one tomorrow. CLF. Cleveland Cliffs. All right. So we're going to go and check the last one on our list is ACB. And we'll pull that up real quick here. Uh, that's the one we just sold Friday. Um, at this price right here at 158 I think it was. So uh, we'd have to have it, have it give every bit of that back before we could get back into it. So I'm thinking about 150, 150 level there. If I can get in that 150 range, I'll probably purchase it back. But uh, that was a good little quick profit that we made on that one Friday. I was thrilled about that. It's always good to get a quick one like that. So, But we're going to watch this one. It's probably going to get back in that range. Uh, if I had to guess, it'd probably be doing it pretty quick. Um, so that's what that's what we're going to be looking at when the market opens uh, tomorrow. Um, one thing uh, we want to think about: we've got a short week this week, so uh, we need to make some purchases tomorrow if possible. Um, my goal usually is to have a sale by Wednesday. Uh, so if we make a purchase tomorrow, it's going to be difficult to do that as quick as Wednesday. So we're gonna be happy if we can get a if we can get a purchase and a sale this week, okay? Uh, a purchase and a sale. That's what we we just need to get those under our belt to help us for the next week. Um, uh, we started out the month pretty good, so we're we're not hurting. We're not in any kind of desperation mode here. Um, never are really. We don't get desperate. We just we just trade them when they let us trade them. Uh, so. Uh, no need to get in a hurry. No, no need to. But you, you know, nothing wrong with goals. I'd like to have a go, and uh, the goal is always to have something sold by Wednesday of the week, and then uh, and then purchase purchase some more after Wednesday, so you'll have that next week going. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, come Monday, we'll take a look at that. And, uh, I mean Tuesday when the market opens, and see if we can get get a purchase under our belt, and then then we'll work on that on that sale. Okay. All right. So. Um, Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, the pre-market, what's going on in our pre-market. So let's get, let's switch back over to there. Hang on just a second. All right, let's go over to our CNBC app. Take a look at that. And let's go ahead and go and take a look at our Asian markets. It right, looks like we got a good bit of red going on here. That's a pretty good 1% down on the Nikkei. Uh, Shanghai, uh, kind of flat, more or less flat, and then we've got the Hong Kong's looking kind of about a percent, almost a percent red as well. So let's see, let's take a look at uh, what the oil looks like. Oil's pretty flat, uh, steady, says here, so uh, that's okay, no big deal there. And pre-market, let's go ahead and take a look at our pre-market for tomorrow. See a lot of red. Um, so right now, it uh, looks like the market may start out in the red tomorrow, but uh, as we said before, this thing changes, could be changed by the time we get to the morning time. So, uh, but right now, it looks like we're down a quarter of a percent on the Dow and the uh, S&P. NAS down about a half a percent. So um, we're not going to worry about that, not going to get too upset about any of that. Uh, we know that that can change by morning time, so um, we're not going to get too concerned about it. Um, but we will uh, focus on the market when it opens tomorrow. It's going to be, you know, after a three-day weekend, so 
may get a good bit of activity. Uh, bent up, bent up uh, traders out there wanting to trade, so uh, that's always gets people ready to go. Uh, so we're going to watch our watch our portfolio, uh, those prices that we were talking about, and those those entry points. If we get some opportunities, sure do want to try to get that purchase sometime tomorrow uh, before close of business if we can. So um, that's going to be the go tomorrow, and the rest of the week is to get a purchase. Uh, you know, hopefully we can get a sale before the end of the week, but definitely want to get a good purchase before the week's over with. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And a great day of trading tomorrow. And just, uh, as always, just be patient. Wait for your trade. No no need to rush. Those things will come in, into uh, the price range we want them to. And that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, I'll also be looking at some other ones that I have on some other watch list. But uh, we'll definitely be looking at our watch list as well. So have a great day. Uh, appreciate you watching the videos. Continue to watch them. And uh, don't forget to like the videos and, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you have any friends that are interested, just share the video with them. Have a great day. Thanks. To subscribe, click the button in the right-hand corner. Thank you.